Ron, I need your help for a minute. Sure. I've got a task for you to do. What I need you to do is restock the comment bar and check the ice level on the pumps. And it's real important that we take care of this so the customers don't have to go all the way back up to the counter just to get a salt packet or a pepper packet or a napkin. Okay, right. what do you mean by check the ice level? Okay, let me show you. What you want to do is take these pumps out and look down in there. See there's ice in there? Yeah. We want to make sure that there's enough ice in there to touch the bottom of the Kahneman pump. That way it keeps the condiments cool and they won't spoil. Okay. All right, this one's fine, so all you have to do is check the other ones. Okay. And after you get the ice levels checked, I need you to fill up the pumps with the condiments themselves. And they're all labeled on the front so you know which goes in each pump. The condiments are back in the walk-in cooler on the left-hand side next to the orange juice. Okay. After you get that done, I want you to check the napkins and the souffle cups, make sure they're full, and check the salt packets and the pepper packets. All right. Okay, you got any questions? Yeah, um, where do I get the souffle cups and the napkins at? Okay, the souffle cups and the napkins are back in the stock room in the second aisle, all the way back on the bottom right-hand side. Okay. All right, got any other questions? No, I think I got it. Okay, why don't you repeat back to me what you're going to do. All right, so what I want to do then is I'm going to check the sauces, make sure I've got enough condiments in each one of the pumps. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check the ice level, mm -hmm. make sure that the ice is touching the bottom of the condiment pump. I'm going to stock up pepper and salt packets, and I'm going to go back and get souffle cups and napkins and stock them up also. Sounds great. All right, good. Okay, if you need some help, I'm going to be on back line working with Dennis on Flat Grill. And what I want you to do when you're done is come back and get me, and we'll go ahead and check the comment bar together. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Ron. Good. Hi, Paul. Hi. When you're done with your break, could you do me a favor? I need sure. you to stock up the condiment bar, if you would, please. Why don't you make sure you check the ice level, make sure you check all the condiments that are in there, and if anything else needs to be restocked, if you go ahead and restock that for me. Okay. Okay? If you need some help, I'm going to be up on the drive-thru. All right, I'll okay. get right on it. Thanks a lot. All right. Wait a minute, Ron. Don't slice that tomato yet. I've stopped you because you need to wear the safety gloves when you're slicing tomatoes. You know, I just had to cut just a few tomatoes enough to get us through the rest of the night. The gloves are so awkward to wear. Well, the gloves are here for your protection, and even though you're only slicing a few tomatoes, your hands could run across the blades at any time. The gloves may not fit exactly right, but they will protect your hands. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, well, I need you to go get the gloves put on before you slice the rest of those tomatoes. Okay. Oh, I see you've got the gloves. Yeah, I found them. Ron, I appreciate you taking the time to understand this procedure. And remember, it is for your protection. Okay. Thanks, Ron. <laughs>